Hello, welcome to the next section of this tutorial. In this section, I want to speak about how to enter command in the MATLAB. The MATLAB user usually enter the command in the command window. Command window is a section in the MATLAB that we enter our command. The things that we want to do with the MATLAB, we enter the command in here. But when you want to write a collection of the code, you write M file. M file contain the MATLAB command. So for the first at the beginning, you must get in familiar with entering the command in the MATLAB. First command that you must learn is a CLC. When you enter some command, for example, I enter this command in the MATLAB and I want to clear the command window, it is just enough to write CLC. CLC clear for you the command window. Let me to run some other command. For example, you can calculate the sinus of pi. It is a zero. It is a low number in the MATLAB. Or the sinus of pi. Or, for example, exceptional of three. As you see, we can enter some command in the command window and the MATLAB return the result for us. We can save the result of the command in a variable. For example, I want to save the result of cosinus pi in a variable. I write, for example, out c. You can select any name for your variable cosinus pi divided by 2 OTC. If you look at the OTC in the workspace, OTC contains this number. You can click on a variable and a data sheet will be open. After entering some command, you can access to your previous command in the command history. As you see here, I opened the MATLAB in this date and in this hours. And it is my command that I run in the MATLAB until now. If you want to return to your previous code, we can select a command from here or you can press the up and down key. If you press up key, you go one by one to the previous command. If you press down key, you will go to the nearest command. You can go to one command and try to change it for example you write this command but you want to change it it is not necessary to write this command again just press the up key when you press the up key this command up and you can change for example and calculate a new calculation for auto c If you want to uh, don't see the result in the command window, you can use the semicolon. If I put the semicolon at the end of the line, the result will be saved but doesn't show in the command window. But the, the result is saved in this variable. I write again the CLC command to clear the command window. 
if you want to evaluate a command or a collection of command in the command history select this command and right click and create evaluate selection when you click on evaluate selection the selected command will be run Evaluate selection can be accessed from many parts of the MATLAB. For example, in the help section, you can select a command, right click, and evaluate selection. If you want to enter a line command in the MATLAB, you just need to enter three dots at the end of your line for example i want to create a long string message out this message i want to display the line text to the user if you enter Terry dot then uh, excuse me because I write there I must clean this now uh, and this and now the MATLAB break the line in the new line you can enter the reminder of your code for example by matlab1.com then press the enter and you will see the result of your code or if you want to enter a line variable, for example, auto equal 1 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 8, 3 dot plus 9 minus 20 minus 12 as you see a line command is bracket to two command with a three dots it is very useful in a MATLAB when you want to create a line command for example it is a line command if I want to break this in the two or three line every place that you want to break a line press 3 command then enter MATLAB consider these two line as a one line but, but it is very good for the user can read this command how to call a function in a MATLAB the function in MATLAB uh, can be called with a parenthesis. For example, you want to calculate the maximum of an array with a max command. You just need to write the array into two parenthesis. Open a parenthesis and close the parenthesis. So the function in the MATLAB can be called with a parenthesis. For example, in here, max of this array is 89. Most of the function in the MATLAB can be called with a parenthesis. Parenthesis in the parenthesis, you will enter the input of the command. For example, display. Display is a command in the MATLAB that you can uh, show a message to the user this tutorial is from 
matlab1.com as you see the input of the function is written between two parentheses. this tutorial is from matlab1.com but there are some functions that doesn't have any input for example CLC CLC clear the command window there is any input for this command or DIR DIR display the file and folder in the current directory or host host display the variable of the workspace for you and there are many for example theory there are many commands that doesn't have any input when you create a function in the MATLAB you can define if this function has an input or there is no input There is a special capability in a MATLAB that you can find a function with this icon. For example, if you press this icon, the interface will be open for you. In this interface, you can search for a function. For example, I want to find the histogram function that display the histogram it is a histogram you can click on this function then you can uh, write the input to this function or you can open the help of this function just uh, write the doc at the beginning of this line and the help of this function will be opened for you it is the help of this that function 